Hey guys, this is Eddie Man, and welcome to an exciting new series. Yes, Project Hospital is finally out, and I know I'm a little, a few days behind. Uh, let's roll right into this new and exciting game. It's a hospital tycoon type game. Um, I've been looking forward to this game for a while now. Uh, I did tweak the sound. I know it's a little too loud here. Should be good though. I, I did a couple sound checks before I went ahead and started recording this. But yeah, let's just jump right into Sandbox actually. Okay. And I did take a look at this, uh, a few, few things here. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go crazy and go big, empty field. Why not? 96 by 96. Okay. So let's begin with this. And we're not going to do free building. Um, we're not going to do... But we're going to have the patient's de uh, death setting turned on. Alright, so here it is. Uh, very exciting stuff here. Um, so our ultimate goal from the start here is we have to open an emergency clinic. And we have to treat at least one patient. Okay, we start off with $100,000 as our budget. Obviously, we're going to blow the bank. Because <laughs> it is a tycoon game. All right. Um, and the day shift is from 7 a.m. to 8 o'clock at night. Or 20 hundred hours. Okay. All right. So I just pretty much picked this up. Not not just a few minutes ago, actually. Uh, so I didn't really have much time to play around in the game. All right. So WASD is to move. Okay. Standard Tycoon. You can also use the arrow keys as well, but I'm a lefty, so my right hand is on the mouse. And okay, then I can zoom in with the scroll, zoom out the scroll, perfect. Okay. Um, we start off with a little parking lot here with a entry and exit to the main road all the way to the right here. Okay, and I believe that this yellow patch here is for the ambulance stop well, don't quote me on that but I believe that's what it's for okay so we're gonna go ahead then and I guess we'll start our emergency clinic over here on the left side okay so let's go look at the departments here all right this is where we can go ahead and close the department if we need to in such cases all right, and this is our department um, tab here. This is our insurance tab. All right, uh, we start off with just the uninsured. We have, to, I believe, we have to uh, treat or see ten patients to unlock uh, cheapo care. All right, um, sounds about right. That's exciting. Uh, ambulance is not open yet. Um, budget we. All at zero because we haven't even started yet <laughs> and there's no stats yet either right, and also shows our budget up here and how many people we treated are uh, untreated and I believe this is our prestige yeah this is the rating of our hospital okay that sounds great all looks great all right so right now we have no clinic no uh, departments open because well, there's no building yet <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and start building so we can get out of game mode obviously and jump into build mode now build mode gives us this yellow box around indicating that we are indeed in build mode okay and this a grid that you can see as I move the cursor around it shows where my active spot is right uh, we're gonna go ahead and build a foundation first uh, we can't build another floor because there's no first floor yet. Okay. We can add walls. Uh, we can dynamite add everything, including foundations and room lockers. So we can bulldoze everything. We can bulldoze the walls and the objects. And we can delete walls. Okay, that's good to know. Over here we have uh, foundation operations. Okay, that's 
the first floor and an added floor. Here we have construction and floors. Oh, okay, it's like uh, almost like The Sims. Gotcha. So we have the different color pattern walls, and then we could change the color. Super awesome. Okay, we have place floors. Oh, okay, so this is different floor types as well. And here indicates that there's a second page. I see that. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is like a, a asphalt and our lines. Uh, uh, okay. The asphalt road, asphalt road with line. Pedestrian crossing, pedestrian crossing. Okay. Pothole. A vent or drain. Ambulance area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are the ambulance area. This is a construction ground, sand, gravel, and ground. Did I see grass? Oh yeah, grass is down here, okay. So darker grass, lighter grass to indicate the texture. Uh, interlocking pavement and concrete pavement. All right, sounds good, sounds good. All right, we have some pillars here, I guess for uh, support for the second floor. An ambulance. Wow, ambulances. <laughs> wow. $35,000 for ambulance. Okay. Oh, and we have an elevator. We could place an elevator too. Okay. So that's the construction and wall and floors. Let's go to doors and windows. Okay, so this is our options for doors and windows. There's no second page. Okay. And then we also can change the color indication. They give us a pretty good option here. Cool. All right, and now this is furniture and equipment. And then here under the sub menu here we have um, the decorations, the outdoor objects, the decals, and the medical equipment. Nice. And here, wow, the medical equipment has three pages. So there is a lot to play with. Super awesome. Super awesome. Okay, we have furniture and accessories. And again, we have two pages for furniture. You should be able to click anywhere from the middle here to here to go to the next page, not just the arrow. Oh, but that's just that's just me. <laughs> and then, um, okay, awesome. Uh, with the reception desk, people are telling people are saying that the glass um, direction is the front. So I got to keep that in mind. Got to keep that in mind, indeed. Okay. So decal, the decorations, I'm sorry. There's only one page for that. Like a coffee table, clock, etc. Trash bins, some pot of plants. Okay, outside objects, also just one page. But we have so much to play with. The trees and everything. Street lamps, awesome. And then decals. Oh, wow, so like... Departments have their own decals. Nice. Cleaning closet. Then we have a common room. Cool. Okay. And then page two. Oh, so there's more here too. The bathroom. Right arrow. Okay. All right. Reception. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that was all in furniture, equipment, and decorations. Here we have prefabs. Oh, so these are like our, almost like our blueprints for departments. Okay, so we can look into that as well, too. So then here it'll show us what a an example of... Cool. That is awesome. Look, the... Uh, we have a little x-ray room. I mean, I'm, I know I'm jumping ahead here a little bit, but this little x-ray room with a little office off to the side there. 
super awesome. Okay. A CAG room or a CAG room. <laughs> um, all right, that's cool. That's cool. And I see that there are different colors indicating what department they are. That is awesome. Like it gives it like a sort of like a theme. Okay. Okay. Yeah, here too, the CT room has got like a bluish tint to it. That's cool. That's, that's wow. Awesome. Okay, so we'll, we'll look into that more um, later on. But um, I might use the prefabs for like ideas, but I'm, I like to, my first hospital at least, like to place my own items. <clears throat> All right, so let's, let's have at it. Let's jump into it. Um, let's construct our first part of the building here. Don't want to make sure we don't blow the bank. Okay. So we're going to do two. Let's start here. Mm, no. I think. Let's actually start here. Yeah, let's start here. So we want two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Oh, this is already five grand right here alone. Okay. We gotta keep that in mind. Let's go ten deep. Uh, let's go to 12. All right, so $11,000. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Okay, so that's our foundation. We want to get some basic walls in. <clears throat> All right, so emergency is always typically red. So let's keep a red um, theme going on here. Okay for the emergency clinic. All right, concrete tiled walls. No, we don't want that. Let's just start with the white walls. Okay. Oh, and I want to change this to hide all walls. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's start with that right now. Okay, and then we'll change this to brick wall with a base. All right, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we want to go ahead then and we want to place some windows in from the start. Okay. Um, windows, windows, place walls, windows, here we go, okay, glass windows, <coughs> excuse me, double glass doors, Two, four, six. That looks about right, right? Okay, let's go actually go back to here and let's place some more. Does that match? No, that does not match. We want the matching one. There we go. And then let's go down. Yeah, like so. Okay. Back to building. I want to get some windows in. Um, do I want to do a whole window? 
Now that doesn't look like an outside door. Maybe the sliding doors were part of the... Oh, that's what I was looking for. Okay. How do I... Oh, remove. There we go. This is what I want here. Perfect. And is there a way to hide the windows and doors? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what we need is ah, this is what we need: management mode. Okay. So we have hire new staff. We have dependency tree. We have department dress code. Oh, nice. And closed department. Okay, so we can close the department here too in management mode, obviously. So the emergency clinic needs all these rooms here. Waiting room. Oh, I don't know if we have access to x-ray yet. Oh, yeah. So um, the red is like common room and clean closet. So the general public does not have access to those rooms. Those are for staff. Okay. <clears throat> and here it tells me the minimum size of the room as well. Uh, three by two. So we need a restroom, we need a corridor, a waiting room. We don't even need a reception. I don't see a reception. Oh, I'm in radiology. How do I change that to There we go, emergency. Okay. <clears throat> so hospitalization, we don't have access yet. Unlocked by completing insurance company objectives. Okay. So we have emergency clinic. This is it. This is what I was looking for. Waiting room, doctor's office, restroom, a corridor, reception, common room, cleaning closet, and a stats lab. Okay. Stat lab is a laboratory that provides a wide variety of tests to confirm different diagnosis. Minimum staff requirements is a technologist and a biochemist. Okay. Some of these medical words I'm not going to be able to uh, pronounce, but I'll do my best <laughs> through the series. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So waiting room, we can do that. That's fine. Um, I think I'm going to make it like almost like a corridor type thing. Um, like a reception, waiting area, room area. Okay, so we'll start with something small here. <clears throat> reception. Reception, does it say how minimum size is three by three? Okay. This is a six by four, so that should be good. And then let's do a waiting room here. That is a four by four. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do reception. Sorry about the pause there. There. Okay, and then we could do a restroom here. What's the minimum size for a restroom? Three by two. And a cleaning closet has to be in three by two. Okay. Okay, we can start with that. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, and then we need a doctor's office, which is a minimum of four by four. Four by six. 
four by six. So we can have two doctor's offices there. Okay. And then we're going to have a corridor on each side here. And what are we going to put in the... Does the corridor have a minimum size? One by one. Nope, I want to go back into management mode and I want to remove room. There it is. Okay. Uh, corridor, let's be cheesy here let's do one by one <laughs> okay I think I think for a stat lab we can expand but let's just get the initial going here okay yeah let's get the initial going here let's add, let's change the waiting room to here All right, and let's throw in another doctor's office there so we can squeeze another doctor in. Okay. All right, let's add some windows here for these doctors. Windows of blinds. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. Oh, that's the bathroom, so no, no. Add a, add a window there. We might take it off later because we're definitely going to expand. But I think that's a good floor plan there. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, I am over a little bit of time here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the first episode here. Okay, let's go back to management mode and I think that's a good start I know we haven't got anything going on yet but we have a basic building here we have three like a floor plan here the next episode we'll go ahead and fill this little building up and we'll get our first you know tre treatments on with our patients I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Project Hospital I've been Eddie Man and you've been great um, if you like to see more of this series please go ahead and throw me a like on this video. And if you uh, haven't yet and yeah, you want to stick around, uh, consider throwing me a, you know, subscribing to the channel as well. But right now, thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.